Welcome to the sixth in our CC 3D series. So far in the series we've actually configured it, we've put it onto a 250 class racing quad, we've installed Minim OSD, we've even installed things like a GPS, and it's about time we installed Clean Flight onto it as well. We've used OpenPilot, which is the default firmware in all of the videos in the series so far, but a very common question that I've got through the series is how do you install Clean Flight? Now we did talk about Clean Flight in the very first video when we started this series and Clean Flight is a different version of the firmware that you can install on the board. It's one that was primarily developed for things like the NASI 32 board and if you watch the NASI 32 series you'll see all of the amazing things that you can do with Clean Flight. Clean Flight gives you additional abilities outside of what OpenPilot will do around things like um, LED lights, sonar, all kinds of stuff. So. If you want to flash your CC3D with Clean Flight and turn this into a basic NASA 32 style board rather than the CC3D with OpenPilot, this is the video for you. The process is reversible. It isn't going to change the bootloader which is actually on the board itself. So if you try Clean Flight and don't like it, you can go back to OpenPilot. And I'll point to the online document that actually explains how you do that so that if you get stuck, you have a resource that you can go to. So the first thing we need to do then is go onto the netbook and I'll show you the things we need to download because there are a number of files. You're going to need to download the clean flight binary image that's actually the firmware for this board. We're going to use OpenPilot to put it on, which sounds a bit odd. We're using OpenPilot to put clean flight on, but OpenPilot has some very clever bits and pieces on it that allows us to actually go into like a rescue mode and put the firmware onto the board. Once we've done that, then we'll go and plug it into Clean Flight to show you that it's working. And then finally, we'll just have a quick look at that uh, link to the reversible document. There are a number of documents and videos around doing this already. Uh, I found myself that following those, it didn't work. It got stuck in bootloader mode and I couldn't get it out of that and I couldn't get it to connect to clean flight. Installing the binary image was easy. Getting it out of that status so I could use it was very tricky. So what I'm going to show you in this video is after a lot of trial and error the way that works every time for me. So without any further ado let's go onto the netbook and show you what we need to download. So there's a number of places that we just need to have a look at and a couple that we need to get files from before we continue to flash the board. Don't worry about the links for these. I'm actually going to put the links to all these pages in the description under the video. So let's look through them. First one we need to have a look at is actually the clean flight version for the CC3D. We need to download that so we have the binary file. It's actually in the Clean Flight repository on GitHub. Uh, the latest version as we're looking at it right now is 1.8.1 but it may be later when you're trying it. I'm recording this uh, towards the end of April so uh, it changes quite quickly. If you go down It'll give you all the changes and updates, and then under that, you'll actually see all of the different files. Now, the one we want is actually the clean flight underscore cc3d.bin, the binary. So we need to right click that and we need to say save target as. It's only 111k, so it's a very quick save. And we'll pop that onto our desktop so that we've got that for later. That's the first one done. Uh, the other couple of areas that you might want to think about is if you have trouble connecting the board after you flashed it with Clean Flight, you may need to download the driver for it. This is the driver page that you need. Again, I'll put a link to this. Uh, so if you find that when you come to reconnect it to Clean Flight, it just always appears in Device Manager with a little yellow triangle with an alert in it then if you download this driver and load this driver it should work fine. Next couple then obviously we're going to have to have OpenPilot installed if you haven't got OpenPilot installed I'm not sure how you've managed to get this far through the video series but if you go to software download you can click on there download and install OpenPilot it runs actually on your Windows PC we're obviously going to need Clean Flight, which is where we're going to end up. 
Clean Flight is actually an application that runs inside of Google Chrome. So it will work on lots of different platforms. Uh, you'll need to download and install it. So if you're in Google Chrome, go to App Store, just search for Clean Flight and you'll find it. And then finally, this is a really important document and it saved my bacon when I was playing with this. This is the OpenPilot wiki that talks about how you do the bootloader update. It also has a very good process that if you follow every single step, it will explain how you can get the board back. I managed to get this board that we're going to use today into a right state on a couple of times and I could couldn't get it into clean flight I couldn't get it back into open pilot so here are the bootloader files if you get really stuck I found the way to do it was actually to just uh, reflash the bootloader and actually reboot it and following this process got it back every single time so there are the bootloader files that you can download and then that is the super duper process that you have to follow to get your board back I would say if you're not sure and you get stuck, just come straight to this, follow this process on the screen, and you'll be fine. I tried loads of different ways to get myself out of the uh, out of the mud, and this was the way that worked the two times that I kind of gave up and started looking on the web. So, now we've downloaded the Clean Flight binary, what we'll do is we'll start Open Pilot, and then we'll connect the board to it. I'll show you that it's working in Open Pilot, and then we'll flash the binary. So here we are in Open Pilot. I'll in put in um, an insert of the board because what I'd like to do is to show you the LEDs as they change. So we'll first of all just plug this little guy in and just show you him working in Clean Flight. So there's the standard boot. There are two LEDs on here. There's an amber one and a blue one. And when it's booted, it'll do that quick flash and then just go into standard flashing. Right, okay, that means it's good. So we can see that it's working here. So if we go into flight data, I can see all of the bits and pieces. Now this is the one we actually set up our GPS in our GPS video. So uh, you can see here it's complaining that it doesn't have it, but that's not a problem. Where we need to go to set this up for clean flight is we need to go into the firmware tab. And we can see here that the bootloader version is version 4. If we rock the board around, you can see the artificial horizon change. So the next thing we need to do then is first of all halt the board. We want to stop it executing the CC3D Open Pilot software. Okay. So now there's the board halted, and you'll notice that the blue LED is pulsing very slowly. And that means we're in bootloader mode, which is good. So we're going to click rescue. It's going to immediately ask us to unplug the board and then ask us to plug the board back in. So we need to click open. We need to find the binary file that we're after. That's the bin file, click open. It'll give us a big warning to say that it wasn't packaged with the open pilot format. We're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna click on, I know what I'm doing. I love the exclamation mark there. And then we're going to click on flash. So it erased the board, now it's uploading the firmware. And there we are, it's finished. Now, you'll notice even though we've finished, it's still in bootloader mode. So the trick that I found here is if you actually connect five volts, I'm just using a UBEC here to the pins. What you have to do is then click boot. Okay, so the next thing we need to do then is we shall disconnect the board. We'll come out of Open Pilot. We'll go into Clean Flight.
And now what we'll do, we'll plug the board back in. Now it's not appearing as a port, so what we'll do is we'll go into devices and printers. Here it is, it's actually installing the device driver software. So this is the STM drivers. Now these are on here already because I have all these different bits and pieces on the board. We can actually see, it can see an STM32 virtual COM port, but it's actually installing the device driver. Now, this is going to take a second. Let's just open that up so we can watch it. Okay, so we've now installed the virtual COM driver. That looked really good. COM29 is the one we want to be looking at. So we'll jump back into Clean Flight. COM29 selected. Click Connect. And there we have the board. And if I move it around, you can see it's moving in the display as well. So that is the way that you get it to connect. Hopefully having a close up of the LEDs will give you an idea what's going on. The trick that I found is to plug in a BEC or a speed controller connected to a battery as part of the process and hit that boot at the end of the bit in OpenPilot where you're flashing it. So now we can actually go into all of the same bits and pieces that we would normally do. Uh, you can see it's detected that it's a CCD, the version number and everything else. So we can use it in exactly the same way as we would with a um, mini version of the NASI 32. Now for information on how to use Clean Flight, uh, what I'd suggest is that you go and have a look at the Clean Flight videos that are part of the NASI 32 series. I'll put a link to that series in the description. And then finally, the only last thing I'll say here is that if you have a problem doing this and you get stuck and the board gets hung up and uh, you can't see the LEDs looking the way they are now, you can't connect to it in Clean Flight, you can't connect to it in Open Pilot, then the thing you need to do is go back to that document that we talked about where you have this great process to reload the bootloader and actually reinitialize the entire board. In theory, you shouldn't have to reload the bootloader because the bootloader isn't touched as part of this process, but I found that was the only way for me well, I really made a mess to get the board back and get it back in open pilot so I could start the process again. So thank you for watching. Hopefully that's interesting for those of you that want to try a different version of firmware on your CC3D. Please like, subscribe, and as always, happy flying. <laughs>